Whew. Okay, crisis averted. It would seem like we are back. Finally. But this was a scary, super, super, super scary. <clears throat> anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to the last 43 minutes of my stream. For some reason, which I cannot fathom, uh, the stream crashed. And because the stream crashed, uh, also the... What else happened after this? the stream crashed? Uh, I tried to reconnect, but it wasn't... It didn't want to reconnect, so I had to go and do uh, something else to it. Apparently it worked now. It is working now, but I don't know. That was worrisome. But in any case, we are back. So, whoa, 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 let's get on with whatever we were doing. I think it is questing, searching for a new mom for, for the boy. Actually, no, that's not what we were doing. What we were doing was trying to figure out how to get past this little puzzle here in the cave. I could not figure out how to get past this puzzle, so... We are simply gonna go, we are gonna, we are simply gonna keep going. Let's see what we can do here. And... What was going on is that I decided, I realized... That I don't have what it takes to complete this puzzle yet, so I'll go through that little hole in the floor uh, the game wanted me to go through. And then I'll see later if that helps me solve the puzzle in any way. Uh, this is a lot of bodies. It is indeed. Uh, what's up, window? Windows, what are you, what are you trying to tell me? Error. Oh my dog, why is, why is everything malfunctioning today? Huh. Anyway, um... Uh, what was it? Oh yeah. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. But you're seeking treasure. See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they sent them all off. Be grateful, beast. Stay dead. Okay, that's a weird thing to get to be grateful for, but cool. I'll take it. The statue. We made it across. Oh, we did in the end. Would you look at that? But we still don't have the solution to the puzzle, and. Left a, a, a chest, a treasure chest behind it. That makes me sad. Oh, Bleh. this is Duroth's room. One of the four stags of the world tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Yudnam while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? And Bones, thanks for welcoming me, Bark. I appreciate it very much. And Duroth, you're the stag. Is a stag of the world tree who watches the states of Yodumheim where giants come from. This really is the giant's mountain. Okay, so we are able to get this little chest here. But this is not what I wanted. I wanted the big chest all the way back there. And apparently I had everything I needed to solve that puzzle. You would sing. Um. That's it. Thought they'd be tougher. Yeah, let's go back. 
Okay, sure, why not? Boy. Yes, sir. I've seen this language before. What is this? Oh, just a rage thing. Oh, this is just a little library or something. Scroll keeping room. So let's go through the loading tunnel again and try and solve that puzzle one more time. Because, you know, we have half an hour before the stream ends. So half an hour is enough time for us to figure out a puzzle. Because I know you guys love puzzles, don't you? Or do you hate puzzles? Because if you do hate puzzles, that's okay. You can all hate puzzles together. But it would make me a happy boy if you guys liked puzzles. And in fact, liked them so much. That you just would went and say, okay, you know what, the solution to this puzzle is this and that. And then I would be, oh my, thank you so very much for helping me solve this puzzle by giving me the answer straight up. And you would say, oh, no worries, it's the least I could do to help a fellow friend. And bones, the frame rate is still hurting. Really? How weird. Why? Why is it like this, though? It should not be. Let me check it. The sad things. Okay, the resolution is good. The way it ought to be. The video bitrate is also good, just like it should be. And the streaming is on the automatic server, so... Everything is alright, it should not... The, it, it should be going okay. If there is a problem with the frame rate... I'm afraid this, it's a problem with the internet. And if the problem is the internet, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm afraid. All I can do is try not to move the game, the game camera so much. Move it very slowly, that's so the game has time to update the frames. Hum. So I'm really confused because ah it's in the wall it's B uh, the thing that looks like an N and R B and R you can get B with that one okay so that one is B. This one is gonna be... N Because that's all it can be And the last one is R I don't know, I don't remember where the last one is Oh, oh here it is R, okay, it, it is R already So B and R, they should be open now And guess what, it is Ah, a horn of blood mead. mead. So I got another, another upgrade to my rage bar, so now I can get even rager. Oh, and here it is, the... Wow, I really explored this area badly before. Uh. And bones, hashtag. 
to running opposite of hashtag speedrunning. Yes, indeed. Let's be super chill, super relaxed, super... Super patient boys and girls. Boy. And you are only allowed to walk. Oh man. It's better now, by the way. Uh, that's good. I don't know what happened. I think what caused the, 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 the stream to crash was that OBS... The Great Mountain. Ah, when the mountain was cold, it was Meluda and Ompres who gave it life. Wandering souls from distant lands who had tasted of the mad of poetry and in search of inspiration found each other and in each other found a great love. To the summit of Midgard's Great Mountain, a secret bridge was built. Here they would make their heart and fortress to live free of prophecy and know only themselves and each other. The mountain became a shelter for the outcasts and the artists, for Jotnar and new friends made. And through this beacon many more souls made pilgrimage. Even now, as we shelter from the storm, let not let none forget the beckoning spirit of the mountain that was. Sounds like the mountain used to be pretty amazing. Mom always did love artists. And as you guys know, Kratos is an artist. He has... Uh, a lot of expertise in using enemies body parts and well their bodies to make some sort of gruesome grotesque art it's kind of a, an acquired taste but there's a lot of people who like it who knows but in, in any case uh, the stream crashed earlier because OBS stopped working and I think it did because because our internet connection here died for a little moment, and that caused OBS to be so confused it stopped working entirely. So I guess my internet, despite all the the, the, the things and shenanigans we have been doing for months to get it to be good, it's still slightly unstable. So I apologize. What's up, my boy? Okay, so we have to bring a crystal all the way back there to... Oh, hello! <clears throat> Ow! Ow! Found the, the passageway <coughs> through the secrets <coughs> of the mountain. <coughs> what will we find here? Hopefully, rare resources. Solid steel. I wonder what is a soft steel. Because they, they have solid steel and soft steel, so solid is what you would expect any sort of steel to be, but soft steel is kind of... Mm. What's up with that? Name, I think. It means terror. What's that? Wait, before I look... No that is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Hey, 
What do you think about these torches? The dead don't need light. Eyes open. Hey, what's this? Is this an alternate things or is this a... Oh, it's just a shortcut. Okay. <clears throat> because, you know, we will be needing all sorts of short shortcuts from now on. But lo and behold, we are reaching the peak of the mountain. Quicker and easier than we could have expected. Of course, it took us like 12 hours to get here, but we are getting there. The heart of the mountain. Where are we? Oh my. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. This? Oh man. It looks like something's supposed to roll on this. I spoke too soon, I thought we were close to the summit, but apparently we are nowhere near. So what does this do? I think I see how this works. The claws on one side. And if we get this unstuck... Oh no! I think the rope stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh. oh hello things let's battle ow ow Hidden chambers. Find and enter all the chambers when able. There are seven locked doors throughout the world. Find find them all. I shall. Ow. When possible, when when getting into those becomes a possibility, sure, I will do that. Ow! There we go. Done. And this is it. Apparently, these are locked chambers. We'll need something to get through this one. Bleh. Well, that's not going to work. The machine right here looks almost warped. The stones are like that stuff, Leo. You know, I think the giants not only mine the mountains. Hmm. This is some serious Dark Souls influences. Like breaking all of the things you can find to see if there's loot hiding behind. Oh, 
Also, this entire place is ex extremely dark. We can't do that. So onward we go. Oh look! Graffiti! Read it. Sir. That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, Yotnar only. And another wrote, and also dwarves. Should we add to it? Yotunar only and also dwarves, the mountain was a stronghold of the giant to Midgard. After they left, the dwarves minded it dry. No. Well? Shooting them. That does nothing. You. And you also do nothing. You do nothing as well. I guess these crystals are more like just background shenanigans and actual uh, uh, gameplay elements. We need to free the rope from under the mess you created up there, boy. Maybe there's a way up there through that passage that opened. We will see. That bird seems pretty far away. Maybe I can reach it from here. It is a mountain. Big. There he goes. So I think the idea is that these crystals they light up and do and they have a lot of functions, but the the crystals we are finding down there in the ground, they're still they have not yet been harvested. Traps and built workarounds to boot. Why you think they're so devious? Oh, they remain. Watch out for traps. I shall. Sure, I'm open. Pantalon bow upgrades. All right. Say the word, kid. So it's solid. Then still I can uh, unlock new skills and that's it. And make and do more damage. But I can also upgrade my armor. All sorts of armors. Let's increase the bow first. It will unlock new skills, it will make the boy better in battle and make me make it that, that so I don't need to depend only on myself, I can have him help me, which is always good. Yes, I can get health by killing people, by executioner cleaving people, and by successfully precision throwing people, or doing precision throw at people. There sure is a lot to see here. And also, I can sell those little artifacts I've been collecting so far. I have a lot. Sure 
That's a load off your mind. Okay, that's a lot of money. I can buy a shitload of things now. Such as the Talon Quiver upgrade for the boy. Now he can shoot faster. Which is always good. I can slightly, very slightly improve my armor. Or craft a uh, waist armor, was it? No, I cannot yet. For him, for the boy, uh, this better runic vest vestment that uh, makes him give me heart stone, health stones every now and then, and they are better. Which will truly help. Earth for the axe pommel, uh, I don't remember which one I'm using. Protective barrier. Oh, that's okay ish, but I don't know. That's worth all the trouble. Ah, I can upgrade it. Sure, let's do that. Sister of a brother of mine, lay hands on it again. However, the amount of money I have to spend to upgrade these things is so ridiculously high. What can I get you, you little fart? I think that's it. I can sell his basic vest though. That's not a whole lot of money, but it is some money, which is always good and, and helpful. Okay, thank you, Brock. I'll be on my merry way. Bye bye. And this time I got around to getting the chests. Maybe, just maybe, this journey would already have been o would have already been over if I focused on getting to the end rather than more traps. This this I focused on finishing the journey rather than then collecting all the chests and whatnot. So, what can I do here? And Chandler, ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuoli. Oh no, Chandler! Did you just made a made a made a? Mm, what did you make? What was that it's supposed to be? You know how bad I am when it comes to the dank memes. Straight ahead, I think. I 
And also, welcome back, Chandler. How are you doing now? Uh. Hey. Ow. Ow! That could almost have been the end of me. Oh, it wasn't. And it's a, Spo a SpongeBob reference. Oh man, it's been so long since I last watched SpongeBob. Looks kind of heavy. I can move it. I used to be huge on it though, but now it's been so long since I last watched it. Meh. And thanks, you're doing much better, you have food now, and you're also looking forward to trying out a new recipe that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. A recipe for what? I love recipes. By which I mean I love the idea of making exotic and cool food, but not the idea. Well, yeah. Not the idea of actually going and make... The food, because the idea of making the food implies that afterwards I'll have to clean up the entire kitchen in case things go wrong or bad. But making food is fun. And also, hey Terry, welcome back. And uh, hope you are doing well. Oh, we are. I mean, I am. I don't know about anyone else, everybody else, but so far I'm doing pretty, pretty, pretty okay. So far, I'm a, uh, I've been, have been being a very happy doggo. Now I push. It moves. And we're stuck. Cards don't attack the I see that. There. Oh uh, no, what's those? And uh, what's wrong with you, Terry? Nothing's wrong. Uh yeah, it, it it feels it feels like something is wrong because when you you end your sentences with ellipses and <clears throat> people only do that when for emphasis on the For, the, for for emphasis on the I'm not happy with the way things are or I have left I have left things unsaid and this whole feeling of I have left things unsaid gives off this era of something's wrong hello Ow! But in any case, it's I'm glad to to hear that everything's going. Uh, things are not wrong, going wrong. That things are, in fact, pretty okay with you. Oh shit! It fell down. Adequate. Uh, Terry, it's a part of you. <laughs> well, in a quest for self-improvement, I would suggest 
that you avoid using those. Only because, not because it's a bad or anything, but because it makes us think that there's something wrong, when in fact, there might not be anything wrong. So it's more, more so to make sure that things don't get lost in translation or anything. Ow! 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 Wow, what the hell? Well then, sure. You guys beat me, sure, do that. Uh, you're not doing well emotionally, but it's okay. Uh, Chandler, the ellipsis is often used to convert sar sarcasm, anger, irritation, tipiness, shyness, etc. Those emotions often have something tied to them. Indeed. Where am I? Where was I? Okay. I guess I glitched through the wall or something. For a brief moment there. No, Kratos, please. Eh. That is not what I wanted to do. And you know it. So what's in here? It's a chest! Oh, lovely. Uh, Terry, you lost a person you love, like you never loved someone that much. And when they lost him, didn't talk to you for four weeks. Oh man. That sucks big time, I'm sorry to hear so. I didn't say anything, the last thing he needed, time to think and win. And with that, you're working, working hard, but too much. 50 hours last week, this week, six, 56, 56 hours, that's... That's a whole lot of hours. People should not work that much at all. I think a normal day of work, sh a normal. A normal work week should consist of 40 to 48 hours of work at most. I forgot to drop the chain because of course I did and that's 16 hours too much and uh, there you still don't have the thing that can make you happy for an extra you and or a computer I'm, so, I'm I'm really sorry to hear so, Terry. And I know how hard it must feel for you to be there in a in 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 this gigantic place where gigantic new place where you know. Well, I don't think you know a whole lot of people over there. I should be working, working to exhaustion, but do like Chandler said, and if possible, do try and take a break, if possible. Really sounds like you could use one. And other than that, I I really hope your situation improves. Special about them. I can feel it. And Terry, you can't sign the contract that says you are aware you could work more than 
40 hours and then we need the money and the job. I'm kind of stuck and we're glad you have a friend you keep chatting with every day so you can release all your energy. Uh, not possible right now due to co-workers leaving so you ended up getting more hours because of that. Anyway, don't worry, you're fine. You're relaxing with Netflix. Well, not really. You can always leave work. If, if you really need to, you can always just call quits. Or try to negotiate with your bosses and... You're not... You're not forced to do the things they are telling you to do. If you think you're working too much, you can always talk to them and about reducing hours or something. But then again, I'll trust that you know what you're doing. But I also hope that uh, that you don't overexert yourself too much with work. Shut up, boy. Let me think. I think it's up ahead. Oh, look, a chest. But I agree with Chandler. Uh, money. All the money is not work. It's not worth working that much. And now the boy can summon wolves and falcons. That stuns enemies. They dive into the ground and stun enemies. That's lovely, but I don't think I'll be using that. Now we have a new shortcut. Wow, that's a lot of weight for you to be lifting up. You did it! I feel we can make the rope wheel work now. Might give us the way to the top. Because it will. That's the thing it's supposed to do, so that's the thing it will do. Let's go over there and start our way to a sanction or something. Of course, after we beat this thing, whatever it is. Oh, another one of those. Except that this one has ice attacks now. Ow! Oh, hello! Ow. 
Ooh. Okay, that smarts. Oh, it's so very graphic. Okay, and now I need to finish off these dude rules here. Ooh, a new attack. Uh, destructive. Uh, let's see the, the, the description. Oh, I pushed down the ground. That looks cool. But I'll keep mine. Uh, Terry, you can't stop doing those ellipses. You can't stop it. Uh, recommendations more important than money. You don't need the extra 16 hours, not at all. Indeed, you don't. You need time for yourself. True that. Uh, it's a hard situation for you. No, you can't handle it right now. But you know that if it happens again, you will see what you will do. But right now, you're more tired of not having anyone to make you happy when you're back home than working so much. Uh, you need to stop working so much. There's nothing noble or honorable in killing yourself by working all the damn time. A palette swapped boss. I hate that kind of enemy. Yeah. Those are very common in this game. There's like seven enemies in this game, and all you face is different versions of the same guys over and over again. But, in, but indeed, Terry. Sometimes it's best not to work than to work so much that you get stressed and don't end up leaving at all. Unless you have a plan, like a end game plan. Something like, ah, I want to... Ow! I forgot I was still in battle. Something like, ah, I have, I have this plan for the future, I'm going to pay, oh, awesome, one of those. Like, ah, I wanna pay for college, or I wanna travel around the world, or I wanna, I don't know, do something crazy that requires a lot of money. And then you know, okay, I cannot get money without work. Then you start to work, and you work yourself off, but not because, but not because you need to work. You work because you have a plan, and that plan requires money. And without better way of getting money, you work with whatever you can work. This is what I need to freeze. Yes, it is. I think we need to climb onto the claw. To go up. Is that so? Oh, we need to push the card all the way there. Okay, let's go and do that real quick. Uh, it's just lazy. Rarely are palette swapped assets not lazy. Oh yeah, it's l it, it is lazy. That's what it is. That's perfect. Whoa! Holy shit! That thing is so very, so very fast. And now we get up. Not there, Kratos. Over here. Now let's reclaim my axe and climb at the speed of sound. Here we go. Or not. Just fast. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. 
Please make it that so he does. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Hmm. That's kind of conflicting to what he said before. Uh, ooh, where am I? What is this place? Hello, progress. That one's not broken. There's a note. The giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. What is going on? What did you write? I asked them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? It is indeed a very long way up. But look, progress has been made. Our journey continues, and our objective is 900 meters from here. Stay back. But you will know what is that and what Kratos told uh, Atreus to stay back from next time. Because right now it's time to end the stream. I have been streaming for 4 hours, even though there was a little disconnection here and there, and we went like 10 minutes offline. But it's time to end the stream. Uh, Chandler, you will never furious. And also, hello uh, Sam, welcome to the stream, however, the stream is ending now. But still, thank you so very much for, for hoping back in. I hope you had a great day at school today, and you have a great afternoon at school when you go back to it. Uh, Chandler, so there's machines, but people still like cavemen. Well, no, not not really. It's it's kind of complicated. I I don't even know how to explain. There's like many races of people, and each race uses their own mechanisms and machinations. But it's mostly things made of stone and wood, mostly. But in any case, Chow Chow Chandler, uh, Terry, Sam as well, and everybody else who's there. Thank you so very much for joining in on the stream today. It has been a gigantic, immense pleasure to have you guys over here as we played games together. There was some quiet moments here and there, but I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. And other than that, um... Let me throw in some music for you guys. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day today, whatever it is you decide to do. And we'll be seeing each other next time, tomorrow at the same time. Bye bye everyone, stay awesome. And uh, goodbye to you, Nathan. And thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. And uh, Terry, you're going to go, hope you can talk again. Sure, whenever you want to talk, we're available, both on the Discord uh, group. And me, you can reach me on my telegram whenever you want. So, other than that, I'll see you guys later. Have an amazing Tuesday and stay awesome. Bye-bye.